everyone. Welcome to the Expanse. I'm T. I did a video earlier uh, for Black Panther, uh, the anticipation of his uh, debut, and I did a video in relation to that. Uh, but I realized when I when when I after I did that video that I had a little bit more that I wanted to say. <clears throat> Not so much in regards to Black Panther, but just a perspective of the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe in general. With the release of Black Panther, which again will be on the 16th of February, that will mark the 18th edition as far as the MCU. That will be the 18th movie. That alone is awe-inspiring. It started in 2008 with Iron Man and the Hulk. It went on further with Thor, Captain America, and it all culminated in the Avengers, which was a cinematic marvel, which was a great movie. And, and it was done so artfully and so tastefully that not only did the MCU introduce the core characters, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America. They also introduced supporting heroes. They introduced Black Widow. She came out of that. They introduced Hawkeye. He came out of that. They introduced the Falcon. He came out of that. Also, even further down the road, Vision came because of the union of the Avengers and all, too. So... I mean, that was done so artfully and so tastefully. It was just, like, incredible. I mean, how they went about arranging that. So, absolutely wonderful. They never deviated. They kept themselves on course. And now we're all seeing the... the... the, the goal that, that, that you acquired from... Hoarding all of those pennies and all of that, all of those, all of, all of those nickels and all of those pennies. Now we're starting to see <clears throat> the gold that you went out and bought yourself. So, I mean, hats off to the MCU. These last ten years, these guys have given us thrills and chills and spills and all the things that we all loved as kids. I mean, all of us loved these things as kids. Everybody, who hasn't grabbed a trash can and you were the shield of Captain America? Who hasn't uh, a, a tied a bed sheet around their neck and you're flying like Superman with a cape? Who hasn't jumped up your Spider-Man? You know, who hasn't fantasized as children? Uh, being these characters. Man, if I was a kid nowadays, how realistic those, 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 uh, those costumes are, man, I would be in heaven because... Costumes were cheesy when I was young. You get a Spider-Man costume, it was kind of cheesy when I was young. Now these things are so are, are so well done. It, it's incredible. So that's great. I mean, any 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 time with anything that you do or anything that you might come across, if something can make you feel something natural, not anything like a drug. But if something can make you feel as good and euphoric as you did when you were a child, if something can tap into the inner child of you, that can never be a bad thing. I mean, that can that can only be something that's good. So, you know, again, hats off to them for doing a, a wonderful job in a in, in a in a in a in a fantastic way. I'm looking forward to now that I have my channel. And, I, and I'm doing these videos. I'm looking forward to one day getting a chance to, to rank the MCU. I've seen some good rankings uh, uh, from a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers that I, that I look at. I've seen some excellent rankings. But I'm looking forward to one day doing my own ranking. God willing, I'll do my own ranking. And um, hopefully you guys will be there to, to, to see me, to see your boy T rank the, uh, 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 the, the MCU. But anyway, going into the MCU and getting off my fanboy wanting to rank those movies. I tell you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait until after the Black Panther and after the Infinity War. That's when I, I promise you guys, God willing, that's when I'll get a chance to rank the 
current movies in the MCU. And speaking of that, I got I got a question I want to ask. I, I'm, I'm getting into my inner geek tonight. Um, what do you guys think about the Infinity War? I mean, wh what do you think? Uh, let's say, what do you think the Avengers for? What do you think they're going to call that? I mean, Kevin Feige is hush hush. Everybody is so hush hush about it. But what do you think that they will, will, will call that? I personally believe that uh, Zoe Zeldana uh, uh, inadvertently spilled the beans when she said it's going to be called Gong. I think that they will end up calling uh, the Avengers 4 the Infinity Gong. You know, that's what I think. That's what I think it will, it will be called the Gauntlet. And um, I'm wondering how they're going to follow it. Because if you follow the canon source, uh, the canon fodder, uh, I don't think you could do Gauntlet. Because in the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos is one sadistic, cruel asshole. I mean, and nobody basically survives the encounter. I mean, no one basically survives the encounter. And... So I think that you have to try to parlay the story and put twists in it in a way that uh, that can be a lot more tasteful. Because I tell you one thing, and I mentioned this I think in one of my other trailers, uh, when I saw that that leaked footage that came out of D twenty three in Comic Con, that in that Avengers Infinity War trailer there, it was totally a lot of the scenes from the from the from the new trailer were in it. But the way it ended, it, the note was so dire. The note was so, you know, hopeless. The note was so, you know, like so gloomy and dark. Like, okay, we're all going to die. This is like a suicide mission, and that's it. I was so happy to see that the new trailer had given so much hope. It was such a hopeful. It, 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 it put a spotlight on the heroes, but it gave an air of hope and, a, and an air of unity. You know, and but anyone that knows the cannon fodder again, you know, knows that it, they're up against a grim task with this guy. I mean, this guy is something else, and they're going to be up into up to a, a very difficult ordeal with him. And then it makes you wonder, <clears throat> how will their end be? You know, it makes you wonder, like, how will they, you know, compose the uh, uh, the ending for this? So. I don't know, I, you know, I, 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 but I, one thing I, I, I do know is that I do trust the people that Marvel trusts. I mean, I do trust Kevin Feige and his mindset. I trust the people that he, uh, uh, that he hires to do these jobs because they haven't disappointed yet and their track record is nothing less than impeccable. So, you know, and, and let me say something too. Yeah, I'm sitting up here harping about the DC. I mean, the, the the MCU. But I like good movies. I mean, I like good movies. I, I'm ashamed to say, I catch a lot of flack for it, but one of my favorite movies came out of the DCU. It was uh, uh, Green Lantern. I mean, I loved his power base, the Green Lantern in that movie. Uh, that was one of my favorite movies. I love the Nolans and Batman. Uh, the Nolan series, his run. So I thought that was incredible. So I'm not just, you know, I, I loved Wonder Woman. I've said that in uh, in one of my videos, and I haven't made many. This is like my fourth or fifth fourth video or so, or fifth maybe. Uh, and I love Wonder Woman. So, I mean, I'm more a fan of good movies. You know, it just so happens that DMCU are the ones who make the good movies and and I am a little bit I do lean a little bit more favorably to Marvel too because as I explained uh, another time in another video trying to explain my pedigree my sons were into Marvel Comics and that's how I, I essentially got into Marvel Comics as well okay but let's go back into this okay how will how do you guys think the Infinity War will end because I don't believe that they will destroy Thanos, but I believe it'll be like he's, it seems like he is, like he's vanquished or he's, 
uh, they will it will appear that he's destroyed or something, and then I believe he'll come back for the Avengers four, and uh, assemble the entire gauntlet. Because this whole Avengers 3 is just to stop him from doing that thing. We got to stop Thanos, keep him from doing that thing. And if he gets it, he, he will do that thing. Because anyone that knows Marvel Comics who have read the Infinity War, the Infinity Crusade, uh, uh, anything in relation to Thanos, knows that he is one sadistic, unyielding, no mercy son of a bitch i mean it, it, the one who depicted him the best and that was a, a, a mild exaggeration of thanos a a a, 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 a iteration of thanos when um uh, nebula was telling gamora what he was doing to her i mean look at you you picture two siblings in battle and one best the other i mean and he was removing body parts for her losses he was removing body and major body parts for her losses so that just lets you know how this guy is but i don't think they'll destroy him because he's too powerful but i believe that it'll appear that he was put down or he was vanquished or something uh and that's the only way that you can go on because look you got avengers 3 coming up then you have in between Avengers 3 and Avengers 4, you have Ant-Man and the Wasp. You also have Captain Marvel. I mean, how how can anybody's lives become normalized again? How can you return to work or, uh, or, or carry on with your normal life when, they, when this guy is the threat out there? And you know that at any moment, Thanos can pop up and just finish doing what he almost did the first time. So it would have to appear that he's done. In order for anybody to be able to down throttle and anybody to relax and anybody to resume a normal life and things go back to normalcy. If the threat of Thanos is out there, if he just disappears and goes into another dimension and say, okay, I'll be back, you know, that fuck going to work. To hell with work. School for what? I mean, he's going to destroy the planet in any, to any day now, so... I believe it'll 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 appear that that uh, uh, that he's been vanquished. Uh, so I mean that's that's what I how I look at it. And let me ask another thing. Uh, I'm gonna cut this video off because I could prattle on for a while when it comes to Marvel. But um, going back to the canon source again, Infinity War. None of these guys really make it. Um, who do you think is gonna die in the Infinity War? Uh, the MCU version. I mean, I wonder who they will uh, end up having dying, but um, somebody has to. And and I think the fight, uh, uh, Feige and the Russos are already leaning towards it. They've given you every type of uh, you know suggestion without actually saying it that this is going to happen. But you know, it's going to be sad because we have invested almost ten years in these characters. And after a 10-year period, uh, you develop a, a you know, a, a part of that character is you too. So if you see Cap fall, or if you see Iron Man fall, or, you know, others fall, it's going to, it's going to touch you. You know, it's going to touch you. But, um, okay, I just wanted to let you, I just wanted to know, uh, uh, I just wanted you guys to know how I was feeling. I said that my other Black Panther video, check it out, it's, I have two uh, videos on it and um, go check those out and let me know what you think about them but it was a pleasure uh, I, I like doing this and uh, and hopefully God will not be doing it for you guys for a time thank you again peace out and thank you for looking at the expanse